Everybody, welcome back. I am so thrilled today to really share an amazing message, the message of possibilities. And what I, what I love about working with Robert, and I've gotten to have uh, the honor and the experience of working with him now, you know, helping create the art of powerful living, and also be inspired by his absolute boundaryless approach to creating a joyful life. Uh, whether it's, you know, watching the art that he's created change, develop and grow or speaking with him about how to bring a, a powerful message of joy in the world or even how to create the spiritual essence to guide people along the way. You know, you might be thinking, oh, I'm not done with my shopping. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. You know what? All of the above can be done with joy. As Robert says, be a light to the world. Exactly. Robert, let's talk about what that means to you and why this is such a personally important message for you. Beautiful, Dr. Pat. You know, we all have a mission here in life. And, and what our whole goal basically is to develop that mission, find out what it is, and then go and shine it to the world. And, and you know, it's much more fun to shine that through joy you know, I was listening to Dr. Michael Bedquist last night, and that one of the great parts of joy also is to learn new things, to, to listen to great speakers, to read a great book, to grow and to learn. That's one of the great joys in life. But his message was so profound and so timely for this time of the year. You know, he says to ask the great questions. What are the questions that are empowering to you? And, and of course, one of the questions are, the universe gave me birth. God gave me birth. And there's a reason why I was born. And the question is, what gifts do God, does that God want to express through me? What gifts does the universe want to express through me? What am I here to birth? And so he says, like we were talking about before, to listen to that small voice inside, to get in that silence time, and then really think about and plan about what must I do to develop that mission, to go ahead and do it? What changes are necessary, the habits that I have, the the, the food I eat, the, the way I talk with people. What do I need to change so I can manifest that vision? And then the real project goes forward is how do I become the master to partake in the unfolding of the universe? Because we're all partners in this and we can create a more joyful world. You know, like we're talking about the time of year right now. We're still in the, the holiday of Hanukkah and Hanukkah is the holiday of lights. And most people know that it's about lighting eight days. It's a miracle. But really, there's an underlying story here about religious freedom. Really, what this was all about, the Greeks had taken over Jerusalem and had destroyed the temple. Not destroyed the temple, but, but uh, made it so that it was unclean. And what this was was a revolt against the Greeks so the Jews could return to the religion, to the way that they worship God. And so, basically, this is a time of bringing more light, more spiritual light, more personal light into this world. And it's a very, very delicate time, but it's also a very, very special time. And if we could listen to the words of, of Reverend Michael Bedquist to really go deep, find out what it is that the universe, what it is that God wants to express through us, this is going to be an amazing world. There's about 30,000 people listening to this broadcast right now, many more. On many the more, yeah. Yes. yeah. If all 30,000 of us did something along this line, and spread it out to another thousand, and then they spread out to another thousand, that would be over a billion people right there. Think of the power of what we have right now, Dr. Pat, and what we can do with that power. You know, here's what I love about what you said. You, you know, next year, we are launching a campaign that we're calling the Positive Mojo Movement. And what you just described, because you've been a pioneer in this field, you, you have been the ambassador of joy. You know, you have been the person that says it doesn't matter how you express your joy. Is it art? Is it cooking? Is it being? Is it breathing? What is it? You know, you've been so beautiful in the way that you've removed these, the shackles of judgment. See? The shackles of judgment about how do I have to do it, Robert? What do I have to do? You know, maybe it, I, I don't know. Do I have to have my joystick going on? I mean, do I have to listen to Lady Gaga? What do I have to do? All of the above. But here we are today 
in this energy and power. And I love the way you were talking about the lights. What have you learned in your own life that has helped you move beyond some of the challenges? You know, how did you get to be so joyful? <laughs> you know, Dr. Pat, it's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. It is. And, and, and uh, one of my mentors said, listen, if, if, you, if you are a joyful person, I have huge respect for you because I know you have really worked to get there. He also said that being joyful is hard work. Um, and it is. It is. But it's wonderful work. You know, like anything that we want to accomplish in life, it, it takes, you know, let me back up a little bit. Dr. Pat, we live in a wonderful world. But we live in a world of pluses and minuses, male, female, black, white. There are pain, there's pain, and there's love in this world, and that's part of the joy. You know, what if we lived in a world that was all just love and happy and roses? We'd be bored within a day. So these challenges, this, the, the pains that we go through, they're all here for us so that we can stand up and show our excellence, our magnificence. Everything that life brings to us is an opportunity for us to show who we are and to really go deep, into ourselves to, to make a choice of we're going to go forward with love, joy, compassion, and trust, or are we going to go through life with anger, self-pity, and, and excuses? I think that every time a challenge comes to us, we have that choice. And the more, you, it's like any muscle, you grow this muscle to go, hey, I'm not making excuses. I made this mistake. I'm going to we're up to it, and I'm going to take steps so it doesn't happen again. And that is the joy of life, is to move forward. Anytime you can look back at your life, that you have come across a challenge, you've met that challenge, and you've come across a stronger person, a more joyful person, a healthier person, a more generous person, that is, that's one of the greatest joys in life. Yeah, you know, we were talking during the break a little bit, and I was sharing with you, you know, having a birthday this month, I'm, you know, I've always been in tune sort of with the planetary alignment things. And I was really um, focusing on what are people in our spiritual community, our consciousness community, what do they say about this time? And what I love about this, Robert, is it doesn't matter what anybody says about this time or what the planets are. You have been consistent with your message from day one. Joy, more joy. And let me help you, let me, Robert, help you achieve that. Um, what would you say to help people aim straight and get to where they are today and where they want to go? You know, what is it? that folks most want to, 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 to do, but need help with? That's, that's the question, you know, that's, that's a perfect question. I would say that if you can wake up every morning mm -hmm. and, and basically just spend maybe five minutes in bed before you get out mm -hmm. and, and set the course for your day. First of all, a little prayer of thanks for, you know, a restful night. And then to think of five things that you want to accomplish today Mm. And, you know, and, and then, you know, basically just to start your day off with, with enthusiasm and with a really a great goal of what you want to accomplish in life. Um, if you like, I have five things that we can do right now or talk about right now. Yeah, please. That, that really are all about saying yes to life and, mm. and really planning for this next year so that this is a more joyful life. Now, I can back up a little bit because. We are in a very interesting time. And like you mentioned, politically, economically, there may be some challenges that come, come to this next year. And it may be very difficult for a lot of people. But if we can basically work with these five things, it'll be mm -hmm. easier. And I think we can raise it so that these things are not so, you know, I don't want to use the word dangerous, but not so critical. So Yeah. Well, why don't we do this? Let's take a short break. And when we come back, the entire segment will be to take this journey with you to experience what these five things are. And I love what you say. You say, let's keep it simple. Simple doesn't mean that it is any less powerful. 
right? Simple and powerful are a great combination. Let's take a short break and we come back. What are the five th- five things that Rob is going to share with us so that we can have more joy, get involved with life, and what? Yeah. Yeah, let's be happy. <laughs> uh, let's take a short break. We'll be right back. 